on the line. Okay. On Sunday, Sandy, and Moses Edwards. Okay, sounds sounds great. So I'll 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 dive right into Moses, it. Are you there? Hi, Moses, are you there? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Ion, are you there? Yes, I can hear you. Okay. Yeah. I think you guys missed um, what Evan, Evan Jackson, yeah. Moses Edwards, and Ion, they Sandy. Mm-hmm. So, well, Evan, how are you doing? Today? I'm doing well. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing, sir? This is Moses. Oh, nice, nice, to, nice to hear from you, Moses. How are you doing today? Great. So I'll just I'll just re- I'll just uh, repeat it again with this interview, and it shouldn't take more than about thirty minutes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm going to um, record the audio, and then with the audio, I'm going to edit it, and then probably edit this part out, but mostly keep in the questions and of course your answers, and then in the backdrop of the uh, of the audio, I'll put a video of the photos and also part of the young bold and regal which is my uh, brand uh written recap and as well as other additional photos and then it'll be up on the young bold and regal youtube channel awesome. so i met evan um last year i believe a year and a half ago he actually covered the he covers everything from bt red carpet lots of red carpet events to Soul Train and I worked with him at Daytime Emmy. He was covering the Daytime yes. Emmy red carpet. Um so he's he's legitimate guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for taking time out of your day and of course thank you uh Annette and thanks to Melissa Melissa for this opportunity as well. Appreciate it. Yeah. So so I'll I'll dive right into the questions if that's okay with with everyone. Sure, that's fine. Yeah. So I, I I know the reason why you why you held this this campaign and this series, of course, for COVID relief. But what really inspired you all to take action and to create something so that people can enjoy, but also people can be, um, you know, informed about COVID as well as you know, getting getting a sense of, of joy from what you guys bring. What what inspired you guys to act on it? We can go around the room, so I'm going to start by saying we actually are all three in the event production, entertainment sector and business. And when COVID happened, we actually had a series of events that was planned. Um, we were going to be doing a huge benefit that. Uh, Moses will actually touch base on for victims of, um, not victims, yeah. I'm saying, um, for yeah. Wuhan, um, because of one of his clients, Starlight Entertainment. And so we were in the process of planning that along with Coachella and, as you know, Daytime Emmys, Cannes Film Festival, etc. The list goes on. So we were adversely affected because literally when this happened and our industry came to a standstill all I know for me all our livelihood came to a standstill and then from speaking to our entertainment partners like our fellow photographers who works with us in projects like the Arnold Turner, the Rowena Rowena Husband, Mona Scott Young, it was like speaking to them it was like what are we going to do because we're out of work indefinitely so there's no our entire livelihood came to a stop so it affected me and from speaking to Moses who's like my brother and Ayande we realized that hey we had to take action and do something so before even anyone was thinking about a teleton I think Moses was one of the first people to reach out to Erica Body's camp and, and speak of um doing something but before anyone was even thinking of that we was like we needed to create something that would aid our community and then i was asked to do a benefit with the rams and united way and i saw the response that they got and it was to benefit the healthcare workers for ppps and 
the Homeless Coalition in Los Angeles. And that evening, I saw they raised about two point something million dollars. So I called Moses and I was like, hey, Moses, what uh, we need to do something. Um, so we started putting our thoughts in our heads together. And then about two or three weeks again, I got a call um, to do a benefit um, for the Homeless Coalition downtown Los Angeles. And I jokingly said, what happened to the unforgotten entertainment industry, the makeup artists, the hairstylists, the producers, the artists who was all told to have been suspended, the event producers, the photographers, music producers. There's no one thinking of us because sometimes when you're, it, it's like we were the unforgotten, like people forgot about. And the reason why we were so essential is because Yes, they were planning to give unemployment checks to people who had regular income, but the entire gig community was left. So I remember someone starting um, a gig a petition to get funding for the gig workers that they included, but then they inc- they capped it, Congress capped it at $99,000. So if you was making over that amount, which if we did two events, we were over that, as event producers, which event production company, that meant we won't, we did not qualify. And so we were in a bracket, a tax bracket that didn't qualify. And then we had to go through the regular small business association to basically get grants. And as you know, as soon as that funding came in, it was depleted within hours. So it was like we were all left to figure out how do we take care of ourselves? And the only thing that we know how to do is to entertain, produce amazing events. So we put our heads together, and hence we thought about uh, Beyond the Stage by basically coming up with a concept of series of weekend act um, concerts, series including comedians as hosts, comedian skits, performances, um, virtual streaming that can basically sustain also the artists who were doing it and also add a fundraising component with United Way of Greater New Orleans. And that way we created some sort of, we weren't able to pay their entertainers their full scale, but we were able to offer them honorarium um, agreements so that they because we know at that point and at the situation, every dollar counts. So even though we can't give you X, Y, Z, we can still provide you something to put in your refrigerator. And I, I'm going to let Ion this speak on the relationship that we we were able to garner with United Way of South, Southeast Louisiana. Okay. Yes. So, I mean, this, like Annette said, this came out of essentially us just looking at the landscape and seeing that there wasn't really anything being done for the people that work in the entertainment business, which is comprised primarily of people working from gig to gig as contractors or freelancers. Yes, there's a corporate element in the entertainment industry, but that's a very small part compared to the rest of the workers that support the entertainment community. So we realized looking around, there wasn't anything really being done and that we had to do something now. We couldn't just sit around and wait for someone to say, hey, this is going on, you know, because who knows when and where and what that would look like. So we decided to put our heads together, um, you know, knowing that uh, New Orleans is a very big market that is also predominantly driven on entertainment. Everyone's familiar with Bourbon Street and there's the Essence Festival and there's all these other things that are going on there that have come to comes on grinding halt. So looking at that, we decided that the United Way of New Orleans would be a great partnership to um, to have, and that we could also provide impact within their community, also with their support. And that's how we came about in you know uniting and joining forces with them to really amplify, you know, elevate and just echo the cause out to all of the entertainment community, not just you know in one or two cities, but you know across the U.S. as a whole, and obviously. Um, raising the awareness of, of how this has impacted markets such as New Orleans. Yeah, ex- exactly. And how how was the feedback from the entertainers that you reach out to to be a part of this? I know that a lot of 
um, entertainers across um, not only the U.S., but across the world want to help, want to chip in, want to give people a sense of uh, joy, like we said. So what was the, the response you got from the people you reached out to? And how did you feel about that once they agreed to do it? Um, well, the response that we've got has been pretty positive across the board because there isn't one entertainer, you know, unless they're a billionaire that hasn't been directly impacted and still they're impacted because their tours and the artists that they're grooming and all their relationships in and around the business have also come to a halt and everyone's trying to figure out how to pivot, what it's going to look like. You know, we're hearing rumors that tours won't start back until possibly as late as the fall in 2021. And that's a very long time for people's lives to be on hold. So, you know, with them hearing that we, you know, set about to take this cause upon ourselves and pulling in our community, everyone's been pretty much supportive of that because it's, it's essential, it's necessary. So we've been getting pretty good feedback from, you know, those that we have reached out to and pulling in because at the same time, this community of gig freelance contract workers are in the primary community at the end of the day that's supporting and uplifting their careers as well from their stylists, you know, makeup artists, from their producers, you know, from the publicists. These are all the people behind the scenes that are uplifting our illuminaries, for lack of a better way of saying it, on a daily basis, you know, in the entertainment business. So, you know, pretty much most of them have decided that, you know, they jumped at the opportunity to support those that have been supporting them for a very long time. Yes. It, let, me, let me just. Yeah. Let me, okay, this is Moses. Let me just. You know, and and you know, all three of us being of Caribbean background. Not saying that Caribbean background is the best background, <laughs> but we are, but we are. <laughs> you know, when um <laughs> when um when when like we are taught at, at a very young age to always be efficient. You know, always always think of the next over the next step, you know, and so, and so as we, as, as we started looking at these things, and, you know, we've been, we've all been to hurricanes, and we've all, you know, been to all different kinds of things, being from there, we just decided to navigate quickly into what's the next step for the industry, you know, um, all of the, um, all, all, everybody, everybody's out of work. And everybody is looking for some. Everybody is looking for something to do. Everybody is looking to forget about what's going on. And and you know everything that that said and everything you ended there. I don't want to elaborate on it too much. I just want, I just want to say that that we just kind of like created something for people to look forward to rather than just you know being being sad about it. You know because because you know when when you when you're out of work, it's it's it's, it's it's something that that's really devastating to anybody. If that makes any sense. Yeah, that 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 makes that makes total sense. And I like that the fact that you said that Caribbean people, um, especially with you three, there's a resiliency. And when something hard happens, um, yes, you are devastated by it, but you find a joy in it. You find a source where you can um, bring about uh, joy to other people. So I appreciate you guys mentioning that as well. I'm, I'm I'm of Caribbean background as as well slightly. My mom is originally from Belize, and when she was there, she told me about the hurricanes and um, how resilient she was with her family. So that was a really that was a really great point. Thank you for making that point. Um, getting into the specific people that you had um, on your series. Um, I, I find it really incredible that, you know, you ha guys had like Afion Crockett and Portia Coleman and Kaz. And um, j j I just want you to elaborate on when you got these specific people and when they when they performed or when they appeared. How did you feel when they wanted to be a part of um, a, a, a part of this cause? How did you feel personally? Well, I think all of us utilized our relationships, and Moses and Ayan, they had a great relationship with Avion Cockett. So that was, you know, reaching out to their buddy and getting him on board. Same thing with myself and Portia Coleman um, and the Red Grants. We actually utilized our relationships from being in the industry. 
Um, so I think you're going to have to throw that question back at Moses about A.B. and Crawford. <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 well you, know, you, know, you know, the thing is this, right? A lot of times, a lot of times entertainers, you know, they talk about the things that, that, they, that they will do, and then when, it, when the time comes, they're not there, right? And, um, you know, Yen and I got on the phone and we, we, we called ACI and we told him what, what the cause was about. And he was like, man, no problem. Like, let's, let's, let's figure it out. Wow, that's and, great. And that's been like the, um, yeah, that's been like the, the, the thing, you know, across the board, you know, like, like, you know, a couple of nights ago, this is true, sorry. A couple of nights ago, Yen and I were on, were on the phone. And we just spoke about, man, we want to, we want to do something great for New Orleans. What can we bring up? And then I was like, oh, you know what? Let's call Mystical, right? And mm-hmm. he literally went online, found his found his manager's number, who's a friend of mine, whose number was online. I called him at, at like 1 o'clock in the morning. I wasn't sure if it was the right number. <laughs> wow. I called him at 1 o'clock in the morning. I called him at 1 o'clock in the morning. He texts, he, he didn't know, he didn't know the number. He texts back, he, he texts back at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Who was you call me at 1.30? I text him back. I'm like, hey, this is Moses Edward. He's like, Moses from New York. I'm like, yes. <laughs> He's like, oh man. He called me. He called me right away. We started speaking, and he was just like, man, let's go. Like, like let's nice. let's figure this out, you know. So, so he hasn't. So he's like, you know, let's go. Haven't come on yet in the series, but he's committed to coming on. Mm-hmm. And um, and and that's just been the, like the overall thing with you know this is the time where you know the people I, I can't say the people that have your back because sometimes schedules don't permit certain things mm-hmm. but this, this is the time when when you could really see like okay well you know how how communities come together how how artists you know really really believe in, in, in the people around them and and how they believe in 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 in, in community to, uh, yeah to commu- and, uh, and uplift themselves you know this is this is the, the best time, and like I said, like not because somebody's not involved don't mean they don't they don't support the community. Mm-hmm. Um, 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 schedules don't permit it, but a lot a lot of the a lot of the um the feedback is pretty much being like, oh man, yeah, look, I I, I need I need assistance too, and I want to assist the people that been assisting me. So let's go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and we have people like um like uh, this weekend. If you guys. And they're not sure when you're going to air this, but they have to tune in this weekend. Okay. Um, on actually tomorrow, we're doing a rerun of the best stuff, which is actually our Friday and Saturday show. And then, as you were, um, I'm sure we did an amazing Andrew Harrell tribute on the 17th. We're rerunning that mm-hmm. at 6 p.m. on Thursday um, via YouTube and Instagram Live. Um, that's featuring Christopher Williams. Brother MC for Korea, money for Mr. Cheeks from the Lost Boys and DJ Eddie F. So we have a great lineup this week. And heading back into this weekend, we have Lisa Ray is yes. co-hosting. <laughs> and we actually, she was one of the first persons um, when Ayanda reached out. It was no hesitation. It was like, yes, I'm interested. How can I help get involved? That's so really great. These are people, you see them on screen, but for them to basically, without hesitation, didn't know if we who we were, just the fact that we said, hey, this is what we're doing. And what I love about people like Lisa Ray is because she was like, let's go. You know, she wasn't Hollywood. So I'm, <laughs> I'm not going to name some names. But when we called, we were like, so who is hosting? So who is this? And who is that? Mm-hmm. You know? And... It wasn't nothing about that. Majority of the people that you see that is going to be, it, as soon as we call them, they were like, yes, here is my schedule. This is what I can do. And then some did, as Moses mentioned, say, you know what? We can't fit it in our schedule, but let's circle back. Mm-hmm. So we're, we we had an amazing feedback so far from some great artists. And the next two weekends, it's going to be an amazing, amazing lineup that we're going to announce tomorrow, Wednesday. Okay, yeah. So, th- so this uh, to 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 clue you guys in, probably this will air Thursday, and we will we will mention 
um, the shows that you will rerun on your YouTube and your Instagram live, as well as the following two weekends. We will mention that in our article and then in our promotion of this interview as well. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, yeah, you guys literally answered my next question. I was going to ask um, what's next in the next series, but you guys are announcing the lineup tomorrow. Um, Lisa Ray is hosting it. I love that you have gotten people where I've seen and I've seen them out and about and they are great performers or entertainers, but they're also giving entertainers as far as I've seen them do previous charity work. I've, I've seen them do work within their community. So it's really great that you guys got people on board who love what they do and love giving back. And, you know, that that's really amazing. Um, I wanted, I, I, yeah. And I wanted to, to ask a, a final question of what message do you want people to get from, from this effort? What's, what's, what's one or two messages that you want people to take with them? Um, as they as they see the series and even beyond beyond the stage as they follow what every everybody is up to and how they can help contribute and also how they can help to be a part of something in the future for like this well i'd say that you know one of the the reoccurring theme is that we're all in this together right and and mm-hmm. that's that's where we are as a whole, collectively as a community, as an industry, as human beings, right? Mm-hmm. So we just want to echo that, you know, um, and just reinforce that we're all in this together. United Way has come on board, you know, and they 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 champion, uh, you know, a statement called Live United. So mm-hmm. you know, we are, our program is called Beyond the Stage. So it's you know, Live United Beyond the Stage. And then also, you know, you just want to, we also want to remind people to donate, support. Um, they can visit uh, www.24hww.com. Mm-hmm. And, you know, there's a lot of information on how they can participate, how they can support, you know, how they can tune in as well. Um, the social media handles, they can follow those, 24h underscore worldwide. Um, that's across Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. Um, those platforms are all available for outreach and for them to connect. Let us know how they're feeling. Let's, you know, if they want to know how to participate, it's easy for us to communicate with them there as well. You know, so that's definitely something we want people to get from this and this understanding that this is a community. We're all community. Mm-hmm. Right. And, um, yeah, and, and just as Moses said, and, 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 and you know, something I, I think I think one of the key things that we want we also want people to get out of this is that, you know, this is the time this is not because something is bad, it doesn't always mean it's time to give up or or it, it's um it, it's it's time to just, you know you know, just throw the talent. Mm-hmm. You know? Um this is this is this is the time when you really have to sit down and look at everything. You have time right now to really sit back and think about everything that's around you, and and um, and and you could fix things right now, right? Because mm-hmm. you're not you're not you're not you're not you're not running. This is this is the time to be innovative. Mm-hmm. You could be very innovative right now. Figure out how to how to um, how to how to you know if you wanted to if you wanted to start something and. And you know you were too busy working. This is the perfect time to 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 start a new a new a new chap a new chapter in your life. You know because because uh, you know you know a lot of people you know I used to hear this all the time from my grandparents. It says you know the hardest thing in life is to finish what you started. Hmm. You know most m- most people most people you know people think oh you know making money is hard or so and so. But the hardest thing in life is to finish what you start. Mm-hmm. You know, and and a lot of people don't finish things because they're too busy or they're too this or they do that. But this is the time to like really take a look at your life and and um and and, and just turn it around. You know, mm-hmm. um and and just and just to add to what um to what to what the enemy said. You know, um you know we want everybody to support. Mm-hmm. You know, and and understand this is this is a this is this is a cause for for our peers and for. 
you know, people that are not out here, it's just people that's in this, in this, um, in this, in this space, you know, mm-hmm. and, you know, we, we, we're working on some really exciting, um, things that, that, that we'll implement in, in the upcoming weeks, you know, as we, as we move forward. And, you know, that's, that's what, I think that's all I really want to say about it. Okay. Uh, just to kind of piggyback on what Moses was saying too, you know, this is a time when people get a chance to really reflect and, you know, be, you know, be within their own headspace, personal space, kind of isolation is a big thing right now for some people, right? Mm-hmm. So it's also giving us a chance to see what works, what doesn't work, what hasn't worked, and what needs fixing that we could actually get up and apply to do. And there's a lot of things that are being exposed now in terms of, you know, leaks in the system or, you know, holes that need to be filled that now is the time for people to start turning those wheels and figuring out how they can be part of the solution too. Exactly. Because everybody's in a bind. No one, no, there's, there's no, there's no exception. Mm-hmm. You know, like, like this is, this is the one time in, 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 I'll think in our history where whether you rich or poor, you're all in the same situation. And that's so funny because I was just about to say um, what Ayande said and what you said. So that's why we're in sync. <laughs> we're, <laughs> in this, we're all in this together and that's how right. we felt and that's how we want the artists. And when we are actually speaking to the artists and basically just sending them an awful letter or basically picking up the phone and calling them, mm-hmm. they get it. Everybody get it. Everybody gets at this. Our, all our lives just came to a standstill and there's no I in team mm-hmm. and this is the time where if you try to do something by yourself it's not going to work because yeah. no man is an island we mm-hmm. learned that so the tenth reason we pull all our resources um, to make this a success instead of basically trying to be the I savior of the world we think collaboratively when we all come together there's so much you can accomplish and you can achieve you know and and that's the message we all we wanted to get out we're all in this together and if we just come together as one there's so much more we can achieve one thing we're doing is the funds that are collected um, is going to be pulled into we have a paymaster company set up so the funds that are being collected is going to be pooled so that the makeup artist, the hairdresser, the stylist, the um, photographer can basically submit an application. And obviously, it's going to be on a first-come, first-served basis. But they can submit an application through our paymaster system and basically get approved once they can verify that they are part of the entertainment industry when they can show proof that hey these are the projects i've worked on for the last six months or a year before covid19 struck once they can prove that they actually would be awarded that grant it doesn't have to pay their taxes or pay taxes in the last year or there's no um credit checks um, like what most people are backing right now, trying to get loans. So we know the situation and the plight of our community. So we are trying to make it as easy as possible. So every person, if, if one, every person donates a dollar, it makes a difference because that adds up and we can help each other. Yes, that, that that's great to hear. Thank you. Thank you all for providing the information, um, taking time out of your day. And of course, thank you for having this amazing campaign. I feel like it's necessary and, and I'm, I'm proud to do this interview. Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Um, one, more thing, one, one more thing that we, um, uh, I'm not sure if anybody mentioned it, but um, if anybody could go on the um, 24H website and fill out the application. Okay. So there's an, there's an application in the 24-inch website. They fill it out, they, they, and they show proof of work. And um, then that application is then submitted. Then we have a board that, 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 that you know, to assess it. Mm-hmm. So then it goes out to the it goes out to the So that's pretty much the process. Am I right, guys? Yes. Yeah, don't call us direct. 
We don't have no no dealings with it. <laughs> <laughs> we can't flip the application in right. front of no one. <laughs> right, right. We can't we can't put you in the front of the line. <laughs> but we can vouch for you and be like, okay, okay. We know Evan is an entertainment, you know, journalist. <laughs> mm-hmm. For sure. Thank thank you all. Because, because this is not, yeah, because this is, I mean, one of the things that, one of the key things we wanted to get across to me was that this is not about, you know, for us to, you know, line our pockets or for us to just, you know, take care of our friends. This is for everybody. Mm-hmm. Whether you're in Australia or you're in, you know, I don't know, from, from this massacre, if you were affected by it, and then you qualify, you qualify. This time I need to wait the three of us you know that's why we have a board mm-hmm. most definitely thank you for clarifying that as well um so no yeah yeah so so once again uh this interview will most likely be up thursday and i'll provide annette and melissa and you all the uh the link to the to the youtube uh video which will have the audio with the pictures in the in the background as well as i'll write up an article of where people can find the information and then let people know who you are all, who who you are all, um, let people know about your organizations, um, those who have been involved in this amazing campaign. Of course, with Annette and Melissa, once again, um, thank you for this opportunity and thank you all for, for taking time out of your day. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Have a good, great day. And be safe wherever have you are. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. All right, bye.